Hello and welcome to America's Heartland. I'm Paul Ryan. From politics to business affairs to space flight, we're seeing it every day, women taking center stage. Now, if you're a regular viewer of America's Heartland, you've seen that it's no different in American agriculture. That old image of the farm wife is a bit worn. In the 21st century, count many women among the movers and shakers in ag's corporate offices, federal bureaus, and down on the farm. If you want to do something bad enough, you can do it, no matter what the hurdles are. And that is called determination and goal seeking. They are entrepreneurs and idealists, ranchers, farmers, and dairy owners. Women in agriculture play as many different roles as their male counterparts, like Kitty Nicholas, who, along with her daughter, Shannon Triplett, owns and runs Hedgebrook Farm in Virginia. Well, not only is it women-owned, but we're also very proud of the fact that we're women-operated. We're here seven days a week, 365 days a year, basically. Hi, Marcy. Hi, Marcy. And Kitty's far from alone. A Department of Agriculture survey shows the number of women-owned farms in the U.S. is growing, close to a quarter million. Like most farmers, these women have learned that to survive, you need to innovate. Wendy Wright and her husband turned to agritourism to supplement the income from their apple, sorghum, and dairy farm. Today, tourists come for hay rides, a pumpkin patch, and to pick their own fruit. As long as we can hold out. Like I said, somebody better stand ground or there's not going to be ground to stand on. You're going to be standing on blacktop. Throughout history, throughout the heartland, women have always played an equal role in agriculture. And now more are embracing new opportunities. Females make up nearly 40% of the half billion members of the National FFA, holding key leadership positions. You can't help but have your life change. Um, and they also come away with uh, that feeling that there, there are careers out there that we can be involved in and that we can be successful. Come on, girls. Esther. Very diverse careers, like running a bison farm. That's what farmer Linda Hubelek chose to raise on her Kansas spread. Her husband works as an engineer in a nearby town. These aren't cattle, so you don't raise them the same. You don't interact with them the same. The bison are still wild. Um, they're very in tune to their environment. Besides opening up her farm to tourists, Linda also sells bison meats online and at her visitor center. So it's always going to be a, a niche market that um, will hopefully be in demand. And Keith climbed up that ladder that was on that wagon, and he got in the corn. While some sell products, Marilyn Adams focuses on farm safety. This Iowa farm wife is the founder of Farm Safety for Just Kids, begun after her son died in a farming accident. Our focus is children are at risk, and uh, they need supervision, they need child care while parents are working on the farm, and uh, they need knowledge and information about uh, appropriate tasks. Today, Farm Safety has 140 chapters in the U.S. and Canada, working one-on-one -on -one with farm families or spreading the message at schools and at state fairs. Working side-by-side -side spelled success for sisters Belinda Fay and Carla McDowell. They transitioned their Kentucky farm from tobacco to tomatoes and began their own salsa business. We are always counter-checking one another. You know, if there's a situation that comes up that's new to us, we throw it off and say, what do you think? Give me your input. So next time you pass that harvester or visit that tourist-friendly farm, take a closer look. You may be surprised to see who's driving the combine or running the business. I just can't tell you how excited I am to be a lady farmer. So go for it, ladies.